What's up guys, back for another episode of this video series, which I'm gonna do weekly on giving you tips and tricks and how to get started in the market. And the topic of today is specifically, how much money do you need to get started trading? Whether it's a small account, a bigger account, how much money do you need to get started? And the answer is none, zero. You should be looking at education. You should be looking at how to learn charts. You should be looking at paper trading accounts. You can paper trade. It's a simulator. It's free. You do not need money to get started. Everybody wants to get rich quick. They want to get rich. They want the lottery ticket. So they go poor all their money into something they don't know, many industries, but specifically trading, and then they lose all this money and they're like, oh my God, it must be rigged. It must be against everybody. It's not. You're just trying to get rich quick for a lottery ticket. Screen time is the most essential thing when you're new. You need to invest in your education. You need to take it slow, get a paper account, and then go as you go. You evolve as you evolve. But here's the thing, and organically, here's the thing. When you do get some momentum and you really do get to the point where you're like, okay, I want to risk real money, it does not take a lot of money to start. Now, the more the better, you know, obviously there's the PDT rule where, you know, it's a US regulation, talk to the SEC, talk to the government, all of that, but you are only allowed three day trades, which is a open and a close in the same position every five or so business days if you have an account under 25,000. It's something we must all abide by. So I'm not gonna lie to you and say, hey man, you know, $500 turned into a million. That's not true. It's easier if you have an account over 25. If you do not have an account over 25, do not fret, you can still be a trader. You are going to have to take it a little bit differently and there's different areas to the promised land, right? Like there's different avenues, the road less taken. So you could either master one setup, which whatever account you have, whether it's $500, whether it's 10,000, whether it's 10 million, you could, but if you're under PDT, you want to do one trade, ideally that you've mastered one setup, build bankroll, be a little bit slower, or you can go do something like options where you can actually avoid the PDT rule and pretty much trade unlimited. So I'm here to tell you that it's not a one word answer. It's not a one sentence answer on, Hey, you know, how much money does it, you know, take to get started trading? It really takes none or at least a small amount to get your feet wet, but Education, guys, education, 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 learn the right things, get in the screen time, do not chase alerts. The problem with get rich quick is everybody on the internet and specifically social media, which is all a lie, 90% of it's a lie, is people are training you that 17 year olds are flipping NFTs to make millions of dollars. Somebody just entered the stock market yesterday and now he's a billionaire. Guys, these are fallacies. 90% of traders lose because they wanna get rich quick, they chase alerts, they throw all their money in immediately on something that they don't know, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. I've known many traders or many people that have entered the market and now they have a very sour taste in their mouth because they didn't learn what needed to be learned first. Mentorship is the key to success. You are going to need to know how to ask the right questions and what to look for, but that doesn't even take money to start. I, you can literally just go watch a couple of free videos, but if you want true mentorship, then it takes investing in your education, but you can start with a small account. So don't let anyone tell you that just because you have $1,500, you can't start, you can. Ideally, the more the better, because it's just gonna be an easier road, especially with that stanky PDT rule, something we all have to do. But if you are over 25, you're just gonna have that much more cushion and even a placeholder to trade unlimited weekly. So if you don't know what that is, I could do another video on the PDT rule one day, but Guys, remember, you're not gonna get anywhere chasing. You're, you gotta put in the screen time. This is a skill. So when you enter trading or you enter you know, education and wanna learn something new, don't take it lightly. The people who do it really well and the people who have done it for 10 years treat it like a job. So I'm showing up for work, I'm clocking in. Even if I only have $1,000 to start, 5,000, 20,000, whatever it is, whatever level you're at, I'm going to take it seriously. I'm going to ask the right questions. I'm gonna maybe start slow on a simulator so I can figure out these movements and not bum rush and then get a sour taste in your mouth. And that's really the way to explain how to start trading, but most importantly, how much money do you need to get started trading? Because there's no set answer, but I'm telling you anybody of any level can get started. Whether you have no money to your name or you have a little bit or you have a crap ton, you're gonna be able to get started in the markets and we can show you how. 
If you guys have any more questions about this topic in general, in any form, you want to know more, uh, you can actually text my business line at 213-458-5997 if you want that extra you know, step or bridge into mentorship and just advice. And also, if you want to watch a multi-million dollar a year trader annually, if you made three plus million dollars in 2021, watch Alex Tamiz's live webinar that is free at myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. He's going to show you live trades. Uh, he'll show you everything, guys. It's really cool. So if you want kind of like a deeper look into that.